Okay, so on a 560SL, um, to replace the blower motor cover, your fenders, you're gonna take a 10 millimeter and there's gonna be four bolts, one there, one there, and two on the other side. They're gonna look like this, two nuts, um, four total. So you're, it's very likely what will happen, is what happened to me, is that these inner ones down there are gonna be very rusted and corroded. So they're gonna break off on you, most likely. So that's fine. Um, you're gonna break those off uh, when you try to remove them. So this whole assembly is gonna be just held in with the rear screws and then I'm gonna use epoxy on the bottom here to make sure there's a good seal um, along the whole perimeter and the edge. Um, so after you take it off, you're gonna to wanna to remove this cover. This cover is gonna be held in with clips, these clips right here. There's gonna be two clips in the middle. So these big ones are gonna be in there. And then these little guys are gonna be all alongside, one there, one there. And what they do is they connect the housing from the lower portion to the upper portion. So from here, pretty self-explanatory, here's your blower motor that you remove. You got two wires, positive and negative. You're gonna remove these, clean the contacts, the actual contacts on the wires before reassembling it and then you reassemble everything in the reverse order. Um, I'm also going to go in just inside there and clean out a little bit of debris that I see. Um, some, some of these leaves in there. I'm going to go ahead and clean all that out, vacuum that out before you uh, reassemble everything back. And we should be hopefully operational here in a second. But right now what happens is uh, these fail intermittently and then finally they just fail completely so that the buttons inside uh, do nothing. And I already checked the fuses, I already checked the, uh, the control panel, that was all good. So we are, we're at this uh, stage now. Okay, so the new fan is in, wires are connected. You're gonna to wanna to zip tie this wire off over here somewhere. Um, I'm gonna put those nuts back over here. So you... All right, let me get a little flashlight for you guys. I use some epoxy underneath here, like that. Because the studs with these old cars are so rusted, they break off. So you want it to be secure on the bottom. So there's really no other way to do it. Um, but yeah, everything's operational now. Now we just have to uh, check the um, refrigerant levels and make sure that he's getting um, ice cold AC.